Rebuild Procedures for the Holland FWAL Series Fifth Wheel In order to begin the rebuild procedures for the FWAL, you must first remove the top plate. Note, the FWAL assembly has replaceable pocket inserts installed between the fifth wheel top plate and the mounting base. Take care when removing the fifth wheel top plate not to lose the pocket inserts. To start the removal process, first remove and discard the bracket pin retention bolts and nuts from both sides of the fifth wheel top plate. Important: Some fifth wheel assemblies contain bracket shims between the top plate and the mounting base. Take care when removing the bracket pins as the bracket shims could fall out. Next, using a pry bar, pull the bracket retention pins out of the fifth wheel top plate. Using a lifting device capable of lifting 500 pounds, remove the fifth wheel from the mounting base. Note, follow instructions published by the lifting device manufacturer for proper operation of the lifting device. Place the fifth wheel right side up on a flat, clean working area or dedicated fifth wheel rebuild stand. Thoroughly steam clean the top plate surface and front lock region or use a suitable alternative method to remove all grease. Inspect the fifth wheel for cracks and flatness. If the top plate is cracked, it must be replaced. Warning: Do not attempt to repair or service if the top plate is cracked or distorted. The top plate must be replaced. Failure to replace the top plate could result in tractor-trailer separation, which may result in death or serious injury. Remove and discard the low head socket cap screw, insert keeper, and front lock insert. Install a new adjusting pin low head socket cap screw and torque to 11 to 13 foot pounds. We are now going to install the front lock insert. Push the front lock insert and insert keepers into the indent in the top plate. Secure the insert keepers with low head socket cap screws. Using a lifting device capable of lifting 500 pounds, flip the fifth wheel upside down. If you are using a dedicated fifth wheel rebuild stand, carefully turn the fifth wheel upside down. Note, follow instructions published by the lifting device manufacturer for proper operation of the lifting device. At this point, Completely remove all components from the fifth wheel and discard them, with a few exceptions. Do not remove the bottom plate or the handle support bracket, along with our connecting hardware as shown. Important: Do not remove the pocket inserts unless they are cracked or worn. Note, lock pin and adjustment pins could be difficult to dislodge and could require force to remove. Thoroughly steam clean the top plate or use a suitable alternative method to remove all grease. The lock pin and adjusting pin on the FWAL are slip fit. They are not designed to be press fit like other Holland fifth wheels. However, if either hole is elongated, the top plate must be replaced. Note, the maximum allowable lock pin hole diameter is 1 and 426 thousandths of an inch. The maximum allowable adjusting pin hole diameters are 1 and 672 thousandths of an inch for the top of the hole and 1 and 172 thousandths of an inch for the bottom of the hole. Warning: Failure to replace a top plate with elongated lock pin or adjusting pin holes could result in tractor-trailer separation, which may result in death or serious injury. Now that the top plate has been thoroughly cleaned and inspected, install new lube plates onto the fifth wheel. Align the lube plate studs with the holes in the fifth wheel top plate. Install new 5 16 inch lock nuts onto each lube plate stud. Torque the lock nuts to 12 foot pounds. Do not over tighten. Verify that the lube plates are tight against the recess in the fifth wheel top plate. With the new lube plates installed, begin the new lock installation. Important: Your rebuild kit contains all components necessary to completely rebuild your fifth wheel top plate. Do not reuse old parts. 
Begin by lubricating both holes of the hook with Never Seize. Also lubricate the areas that make contact with the lock with grease. Install the hook pin into the hook's small hole so the rounded head will face the top plate. Maneuver the hook with hook pin into place in the casting. Lubricate both holes of the release cam with Never Seize. Also coat the cam slot with grease. Next, we will install the release handle. Insert the release handle S-Bend through the handle support bracket window. Install the release handle S-Bend through the end of the release cam with the S-Bend facing down. Install the release cam so that it is fed through the slot in the main rib of the top plate. Place the release cam over the hook pin. Lubricate the adjusting pin with Never Seize and Grease as shown. Align the hook and insert the adjusting pin so that it lines up with the first adjustment notch. The adjusting pin will turn counterclockwise to adjust. Place the 1 and an 8 inch diameter retaining ring on the adjusting pin. Shim rings may be used to reduce the gap between the bottom plate and the adjusting pin retaining ring if necessary. Two shim rings are included in the rebuild kit. Install the 3 quarter inch diameter retaining ring onto the hook pin. Ensure the retaining ring is fully seated in the hook pin grooves. Lubricate the lock pin with Never Seize and grease as shown. Install the lock into the casting. Lubricate the lock pin with Never Seize and grease as shown. Align the lock and insert the lock pin. Install the 1 and 3 8 inch diameter retaining ring to secure the lock pin. Now, complete the installation of the release cam. Lubricate a 1 half inch inside diameter by 2 and a quarter inch outside diameter washer and place between the tapped boss of the top plate and the bottom of the release cam, with the rounded side of the washer toward the release cam. Align the washer hole with the tapped boss of the top plate. Note, apply thread locking compound to the 1 half 20 by 1 and 3 quarter inch hex cap screw before performing the final steps. Lubricate the remaining half inch inside diameter by 2 and a quarter inch outside diameter washer and place it on the 1 half 20 by 1 and 3 quarter inch hex cap screw with the rounded side of the washer toward the release cam. Next, place the release cam bushing onto the hex cap screw. Insert the half 20 by 1 and 3 quarter inch hex cap screw with the washer and cam bushing through the cam slot and washer and into the tapped boss of the top plate. Torque the hex cap screw to 40 to 50 foot pounds. Now install the lock extension spring by hooking one end to the hole on the lock and the other end to the top plate. Make sure both ends of the spring hook ends face away from the top plate. Connect one end of the release cam extension spring to the release cam and the other end to the top plate. Make sure both ends of the spring hook face away from the top plate. To install the release handle extension springs, hook one end of the release handle extension springs with the smaller diameter spring inside of the larger diameter spring to the fifth wheel top plate. The other end should hook onto the release handle. Make sure both spring hook ends face away from the top plate. Now open the lock by sliding the release handle forward and pulling it all the way out. The Holland FWAL series rebuild procedure is now complete. Important: The fifth wheel lock must be adjusted before placing into service. Warning: Using an improperly adjusted fifth wheel may cause tractor and trailer separation, which, if not avoided, could result in death or serious injury.